Alan, are you still playing Genshin Impact? Hey, Mom. Yep. <gasps> That's my girl. Listen, one of my friends needs help carrying something. Can you come help just really quick? Okay. Oh, my God. Again? <clears throat> I thought you said your friend needed help carrying something. Yes, Venti needs help carrying the entire nation of Mondstadt on his shoulders. Now, clearly, something must have gone through the cracks while you were playing the Mondstadt Archon Quest for you to think that Venti isn't powerful. So, let's begin. Venti, Lord of Barbados, the Animal Archon. Just a few names, this very powerful man goes by, bypassing that he is one of only two remaining Archons from the original seven, which should give an indication to his power in its own right. There is one word that can tell you everything you need to know about Venti's power. Time. Time? Yes. Now, hear me out. When we first met Venti, what did he say to us? Ah, traveler, we meet again. What? You don't remember me? <laughs> well, allow me to join you on your quest once again. And what do we know about our dear sweet animal Archon? Other than the fact that he's allergic to cats and enjoys a very good dandelion wine, Venti knows poems and songs from the past and the future. If we look at the description for the Animo Statue of the Seven, what does it say? The statue silently anticipates the arrival of a noble soul, meaning that Venti always knew that the Traveler would be coming and, in fact, met the Traveler and helped them on their quest before. Combining these with the fact that Venti knows songs from past and future, we can discern that Venti not only knows a lot more than he's letting on, but definitely helped us through this world before indicating a certain level of power and control and or omnipotence over time. Oh my god, so even the statue was in on it. Now I know what you're thinking. If Venti knew that we were coming, knows what happened in the past and future, then how did things end up the way that they did? How did Devalin get corrupted? How did Signora take the Gnosis? <laughs> it's all part of the little guy's plan. Think about it. If Devalin wasn't corrupted, then the Traveler really wouldn't have had a reason to stay in Mondstadt. The Traveler wouldn't have known that they could purify Devalin's tears. The Traveler wouldn't have been in Mondstadt to witness the very first theft of the Gnosis. Look at all the evidence, we come to the exact same conclusion. Venti let all of this happen so that the Traveler could start their journey. And what did best boy Venti say to us when it was all over? He told us to go to Leeway and talk to the Geo Archon. Very important step of our journey. The first chapter, if you will. If you look at it, it kind of seems like Venti is setting a lot of things in motion for us, for himself, for the nation. So that begs the question, why? What did Venti say about the power of an Archon? Venti said the power of an Archon is measured by the power that they have over their people, which is why he views himself as a weaker Archon. <laughs> even though he literally has a whole church and religion dedicated to him, but <laughs> that's a PowerPoint for another day. Maybe he's trying to deceive the heavenly principles. Maybe he's trying to make himself look weak so that Celestia doesn't see him as a threat and he can finally fight them when the time comes. Maybe he forfeited a certain level of control over his people so that they had the freedom to go against Celestia and make their own decisions. We don't know. But what we do know, Venti is strong by making himself weak. By not being able to help Devalin, he enlisted our help. By being beaten by Signora, he sent us on our mission that we're still on to stop the Harbingers and get all of the Gnosis. By giving his people freedom, he forfeits a certain level of control, but that control is given back to the people and not Celestia. While it may seem random, every single thing Venti did was calculated, part of the plan, and got us on board for our journey. Perhaps that's one of the reasons why Mondstadt is a prologue quest, not a chapter quest, and why we have not gotten Venti's part two story quest, because his true power and his true intentions have yet to be revealed. Well, I mean, you're right. Venti is powerful. I mean, he's probably one of the most powerful Archons. <laughs> Definitely more powerful than Nahida. <laughs> she really doesn't do anything. You're really not taking away from these presentations what you're supposed to.